Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorial series. Let me right click on firstscript.html page, open with the Firefox. I right click once again on firstscript.html page, open with the notepad. In the previous video tutorials, we understood how we can use HTML tags and HTML attributes to generate some HTML structure by using JavaScript. We understood that document.write can contain normal text as well as HTML tags. In this video tutorial, I am going to generate a table by using JavaScript and HTML so that I can clear some of your doubts. Remember that we don't use JavaScript to create complete HTML page. On the fly, if we want to generate some HTML elements and display some contents, we are going to take help of JavaScript because JavaScript is used to add behavior to HTML pages, not used to generate a complete HTML page. For example, if I click on a button, I want to change some text and make it highlighted, then I am going to use JavaScript in that situation. I hope you guys have understood. Now I am going to delete this complete code that I have here and now we have a typical basic structure of HTML document and script tag. In between this, we are going to write the code. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We see that nothing is there. Now I am going to proceed further and explain. I want to create one table. So I use here document dot write and in double quotation, of course, I can use a table tag, opening table, closing table tag, double quotation, bracket close, semicolon. This is the tag we use for creating table. Then inside that I want to create one table row. So I create a table row, closing table row. You can see inside that I want three TDs. So I create one TD, closing TD. You can see one more opening TD and closing TD, one more opening TD and closing closing td this creates a table of single row with three columns and also i put some content let's take 1 1 1 and here i set the table border also border equals to of course i am going to use single quotations instead of double quotations and say here one pixel border file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we have generated one table by using javascript which has one row and three columns it is not necessary to write all the code in a single document dot write of course you can use a single document dot write and display a complete html table instead of that we can use multiple document dot write also so that we can manage the code properly as well as it is easy for us to make the code more readable. If we write everything in one document dot write, then later if I add more table rows, table TD, then it becomes more cumbersome as well as difficult to manage, difficult to understand, difficult to modify. So instead of writing like this, what I do, I am going to take help of more than one document dot write. Let's see how do I create the same table with single row and three TDs. I say here document dot write and I create here opening table only opening table I am writing here in the first document dot write and I am going to say one more document dot write and there I am going to write closing table both sides I put double quotations bracket close semicolon now you can see I use two document dot writes and in one I have opening table another one has a closing table tag inside this table again I am going to use one more document dot write method and there I am going to say table row opening table row and I write here document dot write then I say here closing table row simple you can see we have a table tag inside that we have one table row and inside that we need three TDs so again inside that I am going to say here document dot write I am going to use opening TD closing TD bracket close semicolon and here I write one then I copy that paste it down paste it down so now we created three TDs and also here I set border is equal to one pixel. You can see this code is much more readable and more understandable also. Even though I have more document dot writes, this code makes more sense to me and it will be easy to understand. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see I am getting the same output. If I want to add one more table row with three 3Ds, I am just going to copy these codes and paste it down. Simple. 
file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see I have one more table row with three TDs. And now I can use more attributes that I want. For example, width instead of using double quotation, of course I have to use here single quotation. Let me set it to 300 pixels, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see the width of the table got increased. Whatever you want, you can do now. It is not necessary to write everything in one document dot write. You can use more than one document dot write also to generate required HTML structure. If somebody tells me to add one more TD in both of the table rows, then I can just copy this TD and paste it down. And here also same thing I paste file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see I have one more TD added. Similarly, I can set the background colors. For example, here I say BG color for this table row is going to be cyan. Similarly, for this BG color is equal to in single quotations, I say yellow. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see we have set the background colors. If I want, I can remove the border to zero pixels. I can set file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that is how it looks now. If I want, I can remove the cell spacing, cell spacing equal to zero pixels. Here I have tried single quotations, file, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see we have removed the cell spacing. This is how you can use HTML tags and HTML attributes to generate any HTML layout or a structure. This is how you can combine the JavaScript and HTML together to generate some HTML structure. I hope a lot of your doubts have cleared from this example. I suggest you people to try designing some layout by using different HTML tags and attributes so that all your doubts will get clear. If you have any doubts, please do not hesitate to post comment so that I can clear your doubts. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.